To illustrate the thermal benefits of a double leaf cavity wall, we will take a sectional view through the wall of this typical house. The double leaf cavity wall is made up of two layers, or leaves as they are called, of clay bricks separated by a thinner cavity. The passage of heat through the brick wall begins in the early hours of the day when the sun first starts to shine. The permeation of heat into the wall is a slow process of about 25 mm per hour. It takes several hours for the sun's heat to fully penetrate the outer leaf of bricks and only begins to reach the inner leaf by midday. Heat continues to flow through the inner leaf as the afternoon continues but at a much lower rate thanks to the cavity separating the leaves and results in far more moderate internal temperature during the hottest part of the day. As the sun sets outside, temperatures drop and the heat flow begins to reverse as the thermal energy is drawn out of the bricks by the cold of the night. By the early hours of morning, outside temperatures reach their lowest and all the heat is completely drained from the outer leaf of bricks. However, the inner leaf still retains some of the day's stored heat, achieving a far more moderate internal temperature during the coldest part of the night. Let's run through that again. On a typical day where the outside surface temperature drops to about 10 degrees early in the morning, might reach as high as 30 degrees by midday or early afternoon. While the interior surface temperature will only drop as low as 16 degrees, and this low point is also offset to the mid-morning just as it's starting to get hot outside. The interior surface shouldn't rise above 22 degrees, and this high point is offset to the early evening just as it's cooling off outside. Thanks to the thermal mass of clay brick and the double leaf cavity wall, the outside temperature peaks are moderated and offset, creating a comfortable and consistent interior environment. And that is why the most luxurious homes are built with clay bricks and double leaf cavity walls.